Hey everybody, Skeeter here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Sig Sauer 320 AXG Pro. The Pro is an inline production gun. It is not limited production like the AXG Scorpion, the AXG Classic, and the AXG Equinox have been. You could go into your local store and you can purchase this gun and not worry about not being able to get it because they only made X number of guns. Unlike the Custom Works guns that come in a beautiful Negrini case, the Pro comes in a standard Sig Sauer case. What it does come with, out of the box, is a 4.7 inch barrel, a flat face trigger, a magwell, x-ray sights, and it's optic ready. We're going to take this gun today and we're going to add a few upgrades to it that are going to make this gun look better, feel better, and shoot better. Stay tuned. We're going to take this gun to a different level. All right, let's start the install with the Align Tactical Thumb Rest Takedown Lever. Okay, this is going to replace our stock takedown lever. So to start, we need to remove the stock takedown lever. So first, the gun is clear. We're going to check physically and visually, inspect that chamber, make sure there's no ammunition in it, and she is clear. So we'll lock her back. We're going to rotate the stock takedown lever 90 degrees, release the slide lock, remove the slide, set it aside. Now to remove the stock takedown lever, we're going to rotate it down back to that 7 o'clock position. And we're going to use our index finger of the opposite hand to kind of push as we wiggle it and try and rotate it out. They're a little tight, so it may take a little elbow grease, but it'll come out. Just keep wiggling like that. Okay, then rotate it until she pops out. We'll set the stock one aside. All right, let's get the new Align Tactical Thumb Rest Takedown Lever out of the package and put the packaging aside. Now, to see what this really looks like comparatively to the stock one, it is virtually identical. It even mimics the profile of the original one. The difference is it's got the thumb rest on it, commonly referred to as a gas pedal. So let's get this one installed. I'm going to show you how easy it is. All right. Take your frame. Take your new thumb rest takedown lever. Put it through the left side of the frame. Kind of wiggle it around until she pops in. And then line it up on the right side. Okay, make sure you don't scratch your frame and then start to rotate it up and she should pop right in. There she goes. Okay, now take it, go back to 90 degrees. Let's take the slide, put her on. She snapped right back on her own and there she goes. Look at that, it's beautiful. Great position for your thumb. It's going to make shooting this gun a dream. All right, let's get on to our next upgrade. All right, and now for the next upgrade, which to me is pretty exciting because not only do I like to upgrade the function of the firearm that I'm shooting, but I also like the aesthetics. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have a pretty good relationship with lock grips. And the good thing about lock is they're out there supporting small YouTubers like myself to also supporting some of the big guys. So I really appreciate them working with me. It's really been a pleasure. It's an honor. Um, I got to thank them. I don't know how to put it. I'm a little guy. I'm a nobody. And they, uh, they support me. So full disclosure, uh, they send me these grips. They don't charge me for them. And in turn, I've done these videos and I uh, install the grips. I use the guns. I show them around at work. And uh, I think their product is amazing, and you've heard me say it before. If I don't like a product, it is not going on my gun. So the reason I'm putting it on my gun is because I really like them. So let's get on with the install. All right. First things first, we got to get the magwell off this gun. So 
we're going to take a T10 Torx bit and we're going to remove the Torx screw holding the magwell on. Super easy to do. Came right out. And there she goes. All right, we're going to leave the screw right in that magwell and you can see that's off. Now you can see how the back strap is inserted underneath that magwell. Let's get the grips off first. Always use the proper ground screw bit to take off your screws when you're working on your guns because you do not want to bugger up the screws. All right, so there's one. Turn it over. All right, the screws are off. Now we got to get the back strap off. So to get this back strap off, you got to drive this little pin out. You can see that over there. So we're going to get our bench block because you always want something to rest on. And we're going to put the frame on the bench block. We're going to use the appropriate punch and a hammer. And I'm going to punch this out off camera because I don't have enough room here between the camera. So I'll be right back. All right, I got the pin driven out. It was pretty simple. It came right out. No big deal. So now you see we'll take this stock black back strap and she just slides right out. We'll put her aside and then we'll grab our back strap from lock and then she'll just slide right on. Beautiful precision fit there. Very, very nice. All right, I'm going to go off camera and drive the pin back in. I'll be right back. All right, we got the pin back in. Got the ivory back strap on. It's beautiful. All right, let's get the grips on. All right, the grips are on. They're absolutely beautiful. What a difference it makes in the gun. Look at this, it's beautiful. Really, really nice. They look great, they feel great. I just love the look, the contrast. It's really, really nice. All right, let's reinstall the magwell now. If you look at the magwell, it's got a little post here, and then here is the hole where the torque screw goes in. And you can see right here in the bottom of the frame, there's a female part for that post to sit in. So we're gonna sit it in. We're gonna take our T10 Torx screw, we'll set that in. And we'll get our Torx bit in our screwdriver. And we'll send that screw home. Don't over tighten it, just get it snug good. Well, here she is, folks. We're all done. The Align Tactical Thumbrest Takedown Lever is a huge upgrade. It makes a tremendous difference in the way this gun feels. The one thing that I really disliked about this gun when I got it were the grips that SIG spec'd on it. I just didn't like the black, dull, boring grips that they had on it. So I went to my go-to lock grips. I spec'd an ivory color set, grip panels and back strap, and they are fantastic. Those grips along with the thumb rest takedown lever from Align Tactical, make this gun feel even better than it was the day I got it. Until next time, Skeeter out.